According to the Living Planet report from the Worldwide Fund for Nature, biodiversity loss in the Caribbean region is greater than in any other region in the world. In Aruba, various sectors such as tourism and fisheries are highly dependent on the health of marine ecosystems. To restore this degraded ecosystem, the European Union has funded a program called Resembit. One of the focus points is the restoration of coral reefs. In collaboration with Aruba National Park Foundation, a restoration plan has been developed. Artificial reefs will be placed in four different areas, divided over three different marine protected areas. To create enough weight for the reefs, a local contractor was hired to manufacture heavy base plates. Reef Systems transported 700 Moses units to Aruba for the local construction of the reefs. The unique modular system enables local communities to get involved with restoration projects. The reefs are bolted together with stainless steel bolts and nuts. After construction, the reefs were lifted onto trucks and transported to the harbor. In the harbor, the reefs were loaded onto a special installation vessel. A crane was loaded onto the ship as well to install the reefs one by one. Some of the chosen locations were hard to reach by boat, so the ship lowered the reef in a safe area close to the restoration sites. After placement, certified divers from Stinapa lifted the reefs again with balloons, where after they were transported to their final location. Immediately after installation, it was clearly seen that fish adopted the structure as habitat. Scoba Bubbles Foundation has been cultivating new corals, especially for this restoration project. Over the next few months, these new corals will be transplanted onto the reefs to kickstart the restoration of coral reefs in this region. Students from the University of Aruba and the Wageningen University will monitor the growth of these corals and the increase of marine populations to research the exact impact of the reefs in this area. Now we will focus on upscaling this project to other islands in the Caribbean Sea and to other parts of the world. To stay updated, please follow our LinkedIn page. Thanks for watching.